is Meghan Markle blackmailing King Charles, demanding that he give her the Princess of Wales's title in order for her, Archie and Lilibet, to return to the UK? up everyone it's me steph the alt nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to the dose of the daily nerd why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness yeah let's jump into this madness shall we because we all know from reports that are coming out that apparently Hazza has asked his former aides to help plot a return to the uk and to the royal fold well, wouldn't you have it? Now Megsy is in the news, pretty much like, oh yeah, I'll return to UK, but I want Princess Catherine's job. Is she literally demanding that King Charles give her the title of Princess of Wales for her, Archie and Lilibet to then return to the UK? Maybe, but at the very least, apparently she's like, oh yeah, I'll return to UK. Uh, if I can take over from Princess Catherine. Uh, now, of course, as we all suspect, she's very, very jealous of Princess Catherine, uh, but this is all coming from royal expert, royal biographer Angela Levin, uh, saying that she'd only return to the UK if she could take some of the jobs that Princess Catherine has. A source told the Mail on Sunday that in particular when it comes to Prince Hazza, he is seeking counsel from his old friends and associates and is clearly reaching out thinking, I need to do something different because what I'm doing is clearly not working. And in the face of that, now Megsy is in the news being like, oh yeah, 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 I'll return to UK with Hazza too, but um, yeah, I want Princess Catherine's job. Huh? Now, Angela Levin is claiming that Megsy is jealous of Princess Catherine and would only make the move back to the UK with Hazza if she had a big house and lots of money. Yeah, she's not a gold digger at all, is she? Not at all, not at all. Uh, Angela Levin is claiming that Megsy is not going to come except if she could take some of the jobs that Princess Catherine has. She once complained that she thought it was shocking that they weren't paid for each thing that they did. I think it would be a disaster. And Angela Levin has hit out at Prince Hazza for playing the victim by wanting to come back to the royal family part time, uh, saying that the late Queen Elizabeth II was absolutely determined about him not being half in, half out. Uh, and says that I think that the royal family have just got to stop him and Megsy, I would say, in any possible way. Now, I have reported on this channel a few weeks ago that reportedly Prince William has said that he is banning Prince Hazza from returning to the royal fold in any way, shape or form. And with banning Prince Hazza by extension, as far as I'm concerned, he's also banning Megsy from also coming back to the royal fold in any way, shape or form. So with Angela Levin turning around and saying, look, they've got to stop Hazza in any possible way from him trying to be a half in, half out royal. I think they're already doing it anyway, to be fair. Now, Angela Levin says it really upsets me and makes me very nervous that he would put on a pretense that he's a victim and wants to come back and he's not a victim. He's become very, very unpleasant about what he does. I mean, this is the thing. It's not surprising that Hazza and Megsy uh, like to play themselves as the victim. It's really not that surprising. They've, they've been doing it now for the past four or five years. So... Yeah, at this point, whenever they want to play the victim or they try to play the victim, I don't get upset anymore at it. I'm just like, oh, here we go again. And then do a video exposing them. Uh, host Andrew Beers uh, agreed with Angela Levin, though, suggesting that Hazza wants the best of both worlds. Uh, and Angela Levin responded saying, absolutely, that's what he's like now. He wants the best of it and he can see there's a chance to get it because Prince William is very busy with lots on his mind. But this is the thing, as I said, you know, when Hazza left the royal family uh, during Megxit, he thought the grass was greener on the other side. Mm -mm, he couldn't have been more wrong. 
so Angela Levin says, so they could try and take advantage of that. The king is obviously doing his very best, but he gets tired and they can take advantage of that too. They've just got to say, Hazza, you've, you've lost the plot and we're not having people telling us what to do. And this is the thing, right? With the health situation of King Charles and Princess Catherine, and by extension, Prince William then in that respect, because he's affected too, with Princess Catherine out of, uh, out of commission, you know, he's having to look after the children more, step up with his royal duties more. So there's a lot of pressure on him as well. Yeah, there is an element, you could argue, that Megzi and Hazza are trying to take advantage of this very, very unfortunate situation to try and better themselves, try and better their position. Instead of turning around and saying, what can we do to help better the position of King Charles and Princess Catherine? Instead, as far as I'm concerned, opinion conspiracy theory or whatever, it's all very, very selfish. And they're taking this advantage for selfish reasons. You see where I'm coming from there? Now... Uh, Angela Levin then adds, if Hazza really wanted to do it, you say to your father, I'm so sorry, please forgive me, but he won't do that. He'll want apologies and money and he'll want a super security. But that's the thing. It's not just him that's wanting security, apologies and money. But as I mentioned earlier on with this article, apparently Megs's shocking demand is essentially, give me the Princess of Wales' job and I'll return, but you've also got to make sure as well that I'm in a decent castle and I got tons of money as well. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> and seriously, the Kanye West gold digger song just springs to mind when I am going through this article and giving you my commentary on it. This is insane. Now, discussing Hazard and Megzi, host Nana Akua on GB News claim that Project Megan uh, to start a new life in California has unraveled, which suggests why Hazard wants to return back to the UK. Because again, as I mentioned before, grass ain't greener on the other side, is it Hazard? Uh, and Angela Levin agreed, responding that Megzi has always called herself a global something or other, but she's not. That's one of the huge reasons why she's not interested in the UK. I think she needs help to explain why people don't like her. She's just lost another head of PR. If you look at the real monarchy staff are there for 20 30 years and that's because they're treated like one of the family but this is the thing right over the last four or five years Hazard and Megzi have lost nearly 20 employees 18 to be exact but yeah nearly 20 employees that says a lot but going around full circle omg this is insane is Megzi blackmailing King Charles, demanding that he give her the Princess of Wales's title in order for her, Archie and Lilibet to return to the UK? Well, at the very least, she's saying, allegedly, well, do you know what? We'll return to UK as, as long as I can have Princess Catherine's job. And a shiz ton of money and a big, massive castle to boot. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. <laughs> that bombshell with that being said if you appreciated this video and you want more believe me of course there's going to be more you do not want to miss my next video then make sure you subscribe to join our alter nerd tribe because i'll be honest with you help us now get to a million so we can also get that go play button right there and hopefully cause a megan Markle meltdown on instagram like share comment down below your opinion conspiracy theories whatever's also as well if you've got some very strong opinions about this and i bet you do uh then make sure you send me a super thanks it's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and until the next time you guys laters